Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at instant text styles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Text styles in Premiere Pro are a great way to reuse styling information for titles that you've created. I wanna show you how to save them, how to uh, change them, update them, how to export them, and how to import them. So let's look at several titles that I've already created. All of these are with Adobe fonts that are part of your Creative Cloud uh, license, and it's, it's just a ton of fun to play with them. Okay, so here's the first one. Beach Vacation, next one, Big Bold Adventure, Great Escape with a Drop Shadow, and then the last one is Ultimate Road Trips where the Drop Shadow is actually, if we go and look at this one, in our Essential Graphics, and I look at Road Trips, you can see that the drop shadow is not soft at all. So when you harden that up, you get this kind of look where it looks like an offset. Very cool. Okay, over in my project panel, you'll see my sequences and my art list media and nothing else. So these are just titles. They're not saved yet. You have the option of saving these, like I said, importing, exporting, great way to reuse them on different projects, but we have to make them first. So, and you make them individually. So I can't save one textile that has two styles. These are not motion graphics templates. If I wanted to save this beach vacation as a reusable uh, template and have animation, then that's what Mogerts are for. But this is for working with styles to change the styles and update the styles. Okay, so in the essential graphics, there's both of my uh, words in the beach. And down here in styles, it says none, and the arrows are grayed out. So I'm going to create a style, and I'll call this beach. And you'll notice it shows up in the left in my project panel. Let's do the same for vacation. I'll select that. And you'll see beach is now available here, but I'm going to create a new style. Let's do the same over here for adventure, beach and vacation, but I'll create a new one. Same thing. Look great and escape. The last one and road trips. So you can see they show up over on the left hand side. Okay. So if we go to our travel titles here with just all the default fonts that are part of uh, Premiere Pro, let me just turn the, I don't know why this darn thing gets turned on, but I hate it, selection, okay. So now if I want to, I could drag and drop, but let me show you what happens when I drag and drop beach onto the title. It's gonna change both of them, which is what I don't want. And I, I can't specifically drag and drop unless these were on two, um, two separate uh, titles, but instead I'll go to vacation and I'll pick vacation. So there we go. Now that's updated from there. It doesn't have the animation, which was just a dissolve, but with this selected control D and I dissolve that in. Control D puts a default transition on both sides. Now adventure, doesn't have two words, so for this one, I can drag Adventure directly down. And there we go, there's our styling. Of course, you can select the word and change it, and if I go back over to here, it's different. 
So the text is independent, but the styling is the same. Let's keep going. Great Escape, The Great, and Escape. And the last one is Road Trips. All right, so there they are. Now let's say I want to make a change. For instance, I'm gonna go into Great Escape and change the outside green stroke. So I'll select it, choose Escape, go down here at the bottom, click on the green, which is the stroke color, move this out of the way so I can see it, and let's make this a different, uh, maybe a blue color. Click OK, and you'll see that the style shows Escape Modified. Um, and if we go back to the other one, we can see Escape Not Modified. So it differentiates between one that has a live change that hasn't been saved. If you just wanna make that change on that title in that sequence, great, you're done. But this doesn't have an effect of the saved style. This is just um, over here in this instance, in this timeline. But if I want to now update this, so I have an option of taking the style that already exists uh, here, I can sync it and it goes back to what was already there. Or I can push this now and, and watch the word modified will disappear. It, it just disappears when I go back to the other one, it's changed. These are independent, so if I want to change this to get away, it's independent and the color is the same. Really great for things like lower thirds if you've got a whole program and you've got quite a few of these and you decided to change the color on them, you could do that uh, very easily. Okay, now let's talk about saving these outside of the project. I've got them here in this project. What if I want to save these and reuse these over and over again? Oh my goodness, it's so easy. On the left, I could select each one, right click and export that one as a text style. But let's say this whole thing is, is part of this whole uh, travel project. So I'll select each one of these. I'm just holding the control key on Windows Command on Mac and selecting them all. It might be a good idea to drag this down to the folder icon, make a bin or a folder. Wow. Can we not do that? Oh, well, we can't drag those down. That's interesting. Everything else you can drag down. So I had to make these, make the bin first. So let's call these text styles. So now they're organized that way. So let's select all of these, right click, and I'll export text styles. And I'll put them in here. So I'll rename this. travel textiles, save that, and there they are. Now, if I delete these and I look at my titles, they're fine. If we look at the styles, they're gone from here. So this menu is a direct relationship to what's in the project panel. It's live. Change it in the project panel, that drop-down changes. So. What if we import in those text styles? Hmm, let's go have a look at that folder. There it is as one text style. So this is really useful for saving multiple styles in one file. Hmm, if I had 40, I don't have to export them out one, as, one by one. I export them out as one, but if you do want them separate, then you would have to, to do them separate. So I'm gonna drag this right into my project panel. I could just choose file import if I wanted to, but I'm gonna drag them in and look what happens. They came in with all the separate names. And if we go back to our uh, text styles and we look at them, there we go. 
And just to show you these, the typefaces that I'm using here, this one's, the beach one is called Funky Dory. Uh, vacation is Dazzle Unicase. Ad the adventure one is Angie Open Pro Black. And the Great Escape is using Raffaella. And the Road Trips, Road, uh, Road Trips is using Peak Black. And Ultimate is Ruddy Bold. Lots of great typefaces. Great design choices using your Creative Cloud license with all the Adobe fonts. Um, I've got, I'll put a link to a, a couple of my uh, tutorials for working with fonts. They're just, I can spend a lot of time doing that. So there you go. There's working with textiles, really easy to use for quick changes here and there or updating a complete project, regardless of how many sequences and timelines you have. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to poke around in the features in Premiere Pro and highlight some special little things that could be really powerful and important to you in your workflow.